Hello, you stolen intros bereft of all originality, and welcome to another episode of I Have No Idea What I'm Doing. Uh, in this particular example, we're going to be playing a game called Phantom Breakers Battlegrounds, which I bought off Steam because it looked okay. Um, I was not quite expecting, the art style is, is a little bit chibi anime bullshit for my liking, but on the other hand, uh, supposedly it's a fun game in the vein of the uh, original Scott Pilgrim games for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, which if you ever played those, they're actually really fun, kind of side-scrolly, brawly games. Um, but we're going to jump in, I guess we're going for story mode, I assume. Yeah, so, uh, as much as I like the little sprite art, it is undeniably of little girls in maid costumes, which makes me a little bit uncomfortable, but, um, let's see, sword girl, spear girl, hammer girl, Knives girl. Oh, okay, we've got four. See, I would pick the giant hammer girl, but she's dressed like a maid and I find that weird. Um, knives, sword, pointy spear. Yeah. All of them are showing a disturbing amount of thigh for sort of 16 bit sprites. Um, uh, I'll just put a look. Okay. Oh, here's <laughs> the one I didn't want to pick. Oh, well. Let's go. Ooh, comes with a choice of colours. How exciting. We'll go for pink, because I like pink. It's a nice colour. Alright, stage zero. Akibara. Okay. Alright. Ooh, exciting. It's got subtitles and everything. Uh, oh, I would bother reading that, but actually there's a nice lady ring in Japanese anyway, so, yeah. If you do read Japanese, I apologise for speaking over it, but I can't, so we're all going to have to go over... Yeah. Fu... Fu Mansion Artifacts? To youths with special abilities. Right, okay. Capitalization's a bit weird in here, but so far... Um... Right, okay. Strange, mysterious man gives weapons to children in order to regain his stolen powers? Sure, why not? Uh, right, space-time rift, of course, because why wouldn't there be a space-time rift? Uh, huh. So, this rift led to... Breaking of the seal, of course, on Phantom's powers. Oh, good. Well, you got what you wanted, then, so that's nice. <laughs> waka waka. Sorry, that's Okay. This is more plot than I was expecting from this game, which is kind of good. I mean, the backgrounds just already look nice, but... Uh, right. Okay. God, how long does this go on for? Stole the thing, kidnapped Waka's younger sister, Nagi, right? Along with Mitsuki, a maid, yep, and self-proclaimed ally of justice. <laughs> of course, Yuzu, uh, ninja, with, I'm persuaded by the lure of Phantom. These four men set off in pursuit of Phantom. Uh, in order to rescue Nagi. Cool. Right. A little bit Sailor Moon, I said. Cool. <laughs> I don't know what that guy on the right side's doing. Some kind of weird dancing thing. Let's find out. Those strange masks. It's going by your looks, you guys must be. Oh, well, yeah. Eh? I took care of these guys. Maybe they should show up. That should be it. Okay. Beat them up. Find the boss. I am the fighting maid. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Right, of course. Here to preserve justice. It's Suki the Crusher, fighting maid. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. Okay, so hit the buttons. Okay. Hey, got a big ass hammer. Oh. Okay, so, so far. Uh oh, don't know what you did. Some kind of hyper moving mode? I don't know. Okay, so that's what that does. I probably could have. So far, so good. I'm 
collecting these. I don't really know what they do, but... Okay. So far... My hammer game is unparalleled. Oops. So far, pretty charming. Um, it definitely has that same kind of vibe. I guess final fight, and I like to be the. Uh... Oh, oh uh, yeah, final fight. Um, Streets of Rage would be the most immediate comparisons. Not graphically, but just in terms of. Ah, keep hitting the wrong button. Oh. Uh, in terms of general appearance. Sorry, not appearance. Gameplay style. I just said it wasn't anything like. Oh, I think I finished the level. Hooray! So far, this is enjoyable, considering it cost me like four or five quid of steam. I can deal with it. It is actually pretty fun. Still not exactly sure how I'm supposed to make them jump to the back level, but. Oh, it's just. Literally, it's just that button. Okay. Okay. So that's kind of your quick attacks. Big smash. I have no idea what I just did. I mean, granted, I'm, I'm sure button mashing is not the most efficient way to play this game, but it's working for me, so I'm gonna stick with it. Okay. So far, so good. Hmm. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's going on. <coughs> well, I mean, the plot of this game is there's more of it than I was expecting. I'm not gonna lie. I was sort of just assuming it was gonna be tiny children fighting each other. But at least there's a vague plot. <coughs> I'm not quite sure that the idea of a fighting maid preserver of justice is. Yeah. yeah. It looks pretty nice. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know how different the uh, <coughs> various characters are, obviously, this one's even I've tried so far, but it's pretty good. You feel like it's one of those games that seems to make you feel like a badass, despite being nothing actually that impressive, which is a game, a, a system of games I'm a fan of. What's that dude with the big head doing? How do I end it? Get back here and let me punch you. There we go. So far, storming through it. Don't really know what the end game of this is, but <coughs> I probably have to roll the coffee to microphone drop. Okay. New Okay. Yeah. There's someone on the most side, because of course there is. I mean, I'm sure there's some kind of deep complexity for the fighting system, but currently I'm just hammering the same couple of buttons over and over, and it seems to be having the desired effect. Yeah, I'm definitely winning. I mean, if nothing else, you can just repeatedly jab them in the stomach with a hammer and they fall over, but... Win? I think I won. I've no idea at what point I know I've reached the level. But... Okay. 
But so far, it's pretty good. Um, yeah. Wow. Again, no idea what's going on, but it looks very impressive. I mean, I, I'll admit, as, as fun as these games are, I don't know how engaging it will be if it's, this is the entirety of the game. I don't know how long the game is, but... So some kind of air recovery seems to be the thing, I think. Jumping attacks aren't particularly uh, intuitive, but there's always one. There we go. Hmm. Weirdly, this game actually feels a little bit better to play with the D-pad, strangely. Oh, hello. First boss, maybe? I don't know, it's a small child in what appears to be a hoodie with ears. Oh, apparently they know each other. It takes a lot less time for them to say the lines than it does for the subtitles to come out. That's something they should really fix, but. Uh, really isn't good either. Okay. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna guess translation, but. I don't know. Unforgivable. <laughs> I don't know, the voice acting is pretty good. Granted, I can't speak Japanese, so I can't attest to how good it actually is. But... Hmm. Um, Alright, I guess we're fighting M. And her. Ah! Ah, what? <laughs> Ow. Okay, I think I'm winning. You saw the OP pension? I think I won. I did win. Hooray! What? Impossible! No, we'll play them. Of course she's in the Nightmares world. The Nightmares world, question mark. That's right. Wait, not my powers. Oh, come on. <laughs> Great. On the plus side, cleared the stage, which is nice. In 11 minutes 58. Hmm. Okay. So there is some kind of leveling up system, I guess. Hmm. Huh. Maybe I'd... Ah, okay. Um, I don't know what any of this is, but sure. Um, oh, I see. You can level up. I'm with you. Okay. So I have that. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now I follow. I think. Right. Okay. I think I get what I'm doing here. Yes. So you can level up. Attacks, defense, and speed separately to gaining individual skills, but use the same pool of points to do so. Right, that makes sense. Okay. Counterburst one, combo level one. That's probably a good idea. And then just put the rest of the points. Oh, look, I can't do any of those things. Okay. Hmm. Interesting, certainly. 
now I find myself in the spirit world. Oh, more enemies. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any powers now, so I just have a giant hammer shaped like a bullet. Wonderful. So yeah, now I'm considerably less powerful than I was, which is probably why I was doing so well before. Because now I've lost all my powers, I have to earn them back. Okay. Uh, that's the kind of game this is. I can get on board with that. Not bad. I'm comfortable fighting these poison rejects, but sure, why not? Oh, that's pretty fun, though. Just twatting them across the stage. Alright. This is... I now feel I have a vague idea of the understanding of the mechanics of Phantom Breaker's Battlegrounds, and as such, I feel like we can draw this video to a close. So, uh, I'll continue beating up school children, and oh, get back here. There we go. And um, hopefully, if you're watching this video, it's come up today, or whenever it gets uploaded, along with a whole host of other ones. So, uh, if you like Let's Play videos of people being stupid, or... Uh, general uh, escapist magazines .com style clip shows or anything like that, uh, check out the other stuff that's on the channel. Um, thanks for watching this. Uh, I now have an idea what I'm doing with this game, and uh, see you next time! <laughs>